Okay, now the third part of example one will be finding the volume. Uh, to find the volume, we have to you know the area of the base, and then we have to multiply that times the height, and then we'll divide it by three. So the area of the base, we found that um, right here, which is that 225 pi. Uh, the height now, we don't know. And the height is this guy right here. And we will use uh, Pythagorean's theorem to solve that. So uh, what we'll do is we know this is to be h squared plus 15 squared, which will equal 25 squared. And then we continue on. Next step will be 8 squared is equal to 25 squared minus 15 squared. And then uh, at this point, we will take the square root on both sides and I'll get h is equal to the square root of 25 squared minus 15 squared and I'll go ahead and enter that into the calculator which will be I do the square root Twenty five squared minus fifteen squared, and I'll get twenty. So I'll come back over here and I get that the height is equal to twenty. So now I'm ready to plug everything in. So I have my 225 pi. Now, uh, one of the things I want you to know is the area of the base is unit squared. The height is units. And when I combine those, I'm going to end up with units cubed. So here, I'm just going to go ahead and continue here. That'll be times the 20 divided by the 3. Now that pi, because we're exact, I'm back to this guy again, since I'm exact, that pi is going to be part of my answer because I got the exact, which means I just got to worry about the 225, the 20, and the 3, and that's what I'm going to put into my calculator. So I'm going to have my um, 225 times my 20 and I'll divide that by 3 and I'll get 1500 and that is the volume of that cone